Hey guys, this is Hydro from Xtrades back with another weekly video. Um, this video is going to be different. This video is going to be about um, how to set proper stop losses when you're swing trading, right? Um, and this video is going to be geared towards more um, stock traders, but like uh, uh, people that trade uh, actual stocks versus options, but the same concepts do apply. So I think it'll be a helpful video overall. But yeah, in this video, we'll take a look at a bunch of examples, uh, look at some of the previous big winners, and see how we could set proper stop losses to get a really good risk reward ratio, right? Um, trading is all about making asymmetrical bets, right? When, you're, when you win, you want to make sure that you're winning big. So you want to make sure that you're always placing stop losses um, as close as possible. Um, but this also differs uh, from trader to trader. Some people like to have wider stop losses and uh, a higher win rate and some people like to have tighter stop losses and a lower win rate but uh, there's many different styles uh, and there's many different ways to make money in the markets but I'll just go over my process and how I personally uh, set up stop losses so we'll just start off by taking a look at a couple of, a couple of examples um, of previous big winners and see where exactly you could place a stop loss right so this is back in November for uh, 2023 this is for a firm so a firm was acting really well here right uh it was forming a really nice flag setup and then on this day it broke out right so the entry would have been on this bar and the stop loss could have been placed at the previous day's low or it could have been placed at that or that bar's low low of day right so when things gap up i typically like to place stop loss at the low of the day of the current day uh, if it doesn't cap up, then I like to put the stop loss at the previous day's lows. So very simple concept. I just use the previous day lows or the current day lows, right, to place my stop loss. So let's say you bought around like $30, right? $30 is like pretty much the max of the breakout day. So even if you bought at the very end of the day, then this, this would have been a very good trade, right? You're, tra you're risking if your stop loss was set at 27 and you bought at 30 you're risking three dollars and if you held on to this thing at the very top or until the very top that was a 22 dollar move right so you made almost seven times or more than seven times your risk in the short period of time too right so this is a great example of an asymmetrical bet you're risking very small and when you win you, you're winning really big right so obviously you won't see trades like this very often but uh if you're picking uh your if you're picking your trades well, then at least 30% of the time you'll see trades that will give you some sort of risk reward ratio like 7 to 1. But yeah, this is a really good example. Let's take a look, <clears throat> let's take a look at a couple more. AMD. So AMD is another one that also had um, a breakout. Last, uh, this was actually, this was in March. But yeah, AMD also gapped up. So this one was buyable on this day when it gapped up. Let's say you bought around that 183 level, 184 level. You play stop loss at 179. So let's say 180. Buy 184, stop loss at 180. You're risking $4, and this one ended up going all the way up to 227, right? So again, this is very, very good risk reward ratio. And you always want to be, uh, you always want to make sure that you're selling um, a portion of your position into strength and then you want to trail the rest of your position using like the 10 day or 20 day moving average that's a good way to um basically ride your winners right but yeah let's take a look at a couple more examples in amd so amd had uh yeah it had a nice so let's zoom out here so amd was very choppy here right and then here had a nice volume day right and then here is when it finally broke that downtrend right so this was all downtrend and then over here it finally broke that downtrend let me draw a trend line to make that to make it look nicer so over here it finally broke and then uh, over here it pulled back no setup yet no setup yet and then i'll say this is probably one of the best setups here right so md formed a very nice flag setup very similar to this flag setup right uh and then it gapped up again and it just took off right so this would have been another very very good entry and the stop loss would have also been at the low of the day for gap ups but yeah that, that's a good example let's take a look at a couple more um 
So Broadcom was really good set up over here, but didn't end up triggering, breaking out. Uh, actually, I don't think Broadcom's a good example. It's too choppy. Kava is a good example though. So Kava had very nice volume move here, right? And ever since then, it's just been an on a very very steady uptrend, right? But let's take a look at Kava. So this was the first flag setup over here. So if this was the setup, I'd be looking to buy over that 41 level or 40.7 level. And I'd place my stop loss at that 39.2-ish level, right? So Kava did trigger on this day. So I'd have bought over there and then I'll replace my stop loss over here, right? And then this one ended up making a pretty nice move um so I, I maybe would have taken some profit here and then over here i would have been stopped out right or i, I probably would have protected my uh entry so I, I probably would have gotten stopped out for uh break even and then i would have overall net position would have been a profit since i took some profits into strength here right so that was a good setup but didn't work out too well um and then formed another little flag here right so uh, this on this or on this setup, the buy point would have been around 42.75. Stop loss, I would have placed there around 41.5. This one worked out really well. Just continue trending higher and higher, right? Uh, let's see, there's more. I would say this is another decent flag setup. Uh, mini flag over here, right? And then it would have been buyable on this day when it took out the previous day's highs. And then stop loss, I would have placed at the previous day's lows. So on this candle's lows. And that worked out well. Here's another flag set up, right? Um, but yeah, this is a this one had a lot of opportunities. Um, and yeah, on this candle, or this setup was really good too. Just flagging, uh, low volume, right? Drifting down slowly, that's good action. And then on this candle, it tries to break out, you buy. And then stop loss would have been at the low of the previous day's uh previous day candle low right so it would have been around here and then another setup over here but this one didn't move too much um but yeah kava was a great example let's take a look at a couple more tlsk this one offered a really really nice opportunity on this or this setup was a really good one right you could play you would buy around that 17 level stop loss would be around that 16 level and then within one day it moved up how much 23 so yeah, it moved up six dollars and you would have been risking what one dollar so that's a really really good trade right so six to one risk reward ratio and you would have gotten that profit within one one to two days right so that was a really really good setup uh, there's another one over here this one also you're risking so you buy a 20 stop loss at 18.7 you're risking 1.3 and this one just took off immediately another really really big move and this one's actually setting up again right now uh, not as good as the other ones but it looks it looks like a decent setup again uh, let's take a look at more coin coin was a really good setup here this one was uh, gap up so you would buy put stop loss at the low of the day this one was another good uh, setup uh, you buy around 170 stop loss at 160 and from there it went all the way up to 283 right so that's this was a really good buy setup this was the second um, best buy setup um, but yeah let's take a look at more hood this one was a really good buy setup over here you buy when it breaks this trend line right so you're buying on this day you can place stop loss at the low of the day of the previous candle then this one just uh, completely rips uh, monster Monster had a really good setup here, right? You you buy around 708, stop loss 676, and it makes a move all the way up to 2000. This one was an insane risk reward trade. Um, Nvidia, Let's see Nvidia's best opportunities, I would say, where was this flag setup? You buy, let's say you buy on this candle, stop loss low of the day, and then this one makes a pretty big move then another flag set up over here and then this flag didn't work but um yeah pace another really good one this one had a nice setup here right it's forming a very clean flag and on this candle breaks out 
uh, so you put you buy around yeah 19.3 stop loss would be around 18.45 ish and then yeah it makes a really big move all the way up to $25 SG this one just absolutely uh, yeah this one's a really good one this one you buy around 19 stop loss around 18.6 and then this makes a move all the way up to $26 SMCI this one just this one didn't offer too many opportunities but it was viable on that gap update stop loss uh, would have been at the low of the day snapchat this one also had a really nice flag set up flag set up over here right so this is an inside bar when it buys you break out or when it breaks out you buy <laughs> and then stop loss would have been the low of the day on this candle uh, yeah but that's pretty much it um i hope that was enough examples to walk through uh how to place your stop loss right so my stop loss um is very very simple right my stop loss process is simple so if it's gapping up then i want to put the stop loss at the low of the day and if it's just breaking out of this flag here for example and then i want to put the stop loss at the low of the previous day's candle so on this can on this candle um uh, but yeah uh, I hope that helps, and uh, yeah, have a great rest of your weekend. Thank you guys for tuning in. There's a reason why Xtrades is currently the fastest growing application on the market for sharing financial ideas. With over $2.5 million paid in the last two years to contributors, users are flocking to see what trades the top traders on the leaderboard are sharing in real time. If you're looking to grow your reputation as a trader on the internet or discuss your trading ideas with other reputable investors, click the link below and get connected with a trading mentor today, completely free of charge.